you with him. Brother Don Langford, stand up and read that verse, those two verses clear. Read it clear. Amen. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven. Wait, 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 wait. I want to go back. Go back and read it again. We go down here. And I looked. Go ahead. I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. A lamb. Not a goat. Not a bear. But a lamb. Hey, God, I know the lamb. Do you know the lamb? I saw a lamb. Yes. You don't want you to be a bear? I'm just an old bear when I get up in the morning. You better change it to a lamb. Praise the name of the Lord. You don't know me. I've got a lion nature. I'll eat you up in a minute. You better get rid of that lion. And so, unless it's the lion of the tribe of Judah. Praise our God. Amen. What'd you sit down for? Praise our God. <laughs> Go ahead. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000. How many? 144,000. How many? 144,000. 144, now, this is not all the saved. This is not all the redeemed. But I'll have you know, this is the number that's going to be his very elect and his select Light of the tribe of Judah, back on the banner there. Praise our God. I'll have you know. I'll have you know, Brother Dale, it's 144,000. Brother Warren, it's 140. That's not all the saved. That's not all that's going to heaven. That's, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. Israel. Amen. Amen. That's what they teach. And I believe there's a multitude without number that's going to be in heaven. I believe there's a multitude without number that's going to wash their robes in the blood of the Lamb. Praise our God. Amen. Amen. But thank God. Thank God. There's a rib. There's a remnant. 144,000. What makes them marry the bride? What makes them marry the Lamb, the groom? Uh, become the bride. What makes 144,000? These 144,000 are the most intelligent, the most filled with wisdom, the most filled with knowledge, the most filled with gifts, the most filled with overcoming. They are dead. They are dead. Their life is hid with Christ in God. They are without flaw before the Lamb. Praise our God. They are worthy to step up and say, we'll marry you, Jesus, uh, as your selector, and we'll go back to the earth with you. When you go back to the earth to reign in Jerusalem as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, these are coming back with him. Amen. 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 These are coming back with him. Amen. 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 Did you hear what I said? Amen. These are coming back. Yes. Amen. You know, I fought my flesh. I'm I, I, I don't have any virtues about me. There's no good in me. Uh, you wouldn't have wanted to have met me if I hadn't got saved. If God hadn't have helped me, you would not want to meet me. Uh, I, I, I don't have any virtues about me. But there's one thing I do. I love God. I love his people. I'm willing to be with the church until we work it out. Until we work it out. Until we become one. Until we become one. I'm going to stay with the church. I'm going to stay with his people. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I intend to be sealed. I intend to have his name, his nature, written in my forehead. I need, I intend yeah. Overcome this flesh. You, you, there's nothing good about me. There's none good. No, not one. Jesus even refused to say he was good. That's it. Said, but the Father. But I can assure you this. I've got enough of him in me right now. I've got that seal already in my forehead. Started till I intend to not settle to be a rum dummy on this earth and sit around and waste my time. And let people in for me. And let people make me lose out. Brother. And the first thing you know, I want to go to the world and get back in the world. And the devil will talk to me and say, it's rough, it's tough being a Christian. It's rough, tough uh, serving God. It's rough, tough going to church. He'll never fool.
to me that way. The worst day I've ever spent in the house of God is better than the best day I ever spent in the world with the devil. Did you hear what I said? Amen. Did you hear what I said? Amen. Oh, the church is this, the church is that. The church is this, the church is that. But friend, go out there and see what they're doing out there. No, don't do it. Stay in here and serve the Lord. Go out there. Having his father's name written in their forehead. Yes. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters. Where did it come from? Heaven. Heaven. Yes. We better hear a voice from heaven. Yes. Praise God. Go ahead. As the voice of many waters. Yes. And as the voice of a great thunder. Yes. And I heard the voice of harpers. Harpers. Harping harpers. with their harps. Stop right there. I want to take away this illusion that God has to depend on harps like we make down here in factories and transport them to heaven so you can have a harp up there. No, you you better have that harp right now in your spirit. You, you know what the harp is? It's the Holy Ghost. It's Christ in me. It's Christ in me. The Holy Ghost. Play the harps. Oh, there's some harps going off in here. Drop your heart. Praise God. Harping with their heart. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne. What kind of song did they sing? Pistol packing mama? No! no, no. Is that what they sung? No. Tennessee Walsh? Moses and the Lamb. Oh, Some of this would be pushy stuff. Uh. Moses and the Lamb. No! All right, yeah. Thank God there's one song. One song. I want to sing it here. Yeah. I'm going to sing it this afternoon. I'm singing it now. Hallelujah. I'm singing the song of Moses and the Lamb. People are singing around. They sung as it were a new song. Hallelujah. That's it. And before the four beasts and the elders. Yes. Now. That's and no right. man could learn All right. that All right. song Whoa. but on, the 140 and 4,000 right. which were redeemed Hallelujah. from the earth. Did you hear it? No man could sing that song but the redeemed. From the earth. Praise the Lord. From the earth. Hallelujah. Better get that song in your heart Amen. right now. Amen. Today. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now you'll have to put aside a lot of stuff. Most of you have to change your habits. But all of us got to change more of mine. If you don't want to change them, if you don't want to pay the price, that's you. Got to change your time patterns. Come on. Now change where you live on this earth. Come on. Yeah. Now change things you want on this earth. Yes. Now change things you desire. Yes. Now change what you wear, who you look like, inside, out. Somebody said, uh, uh, does it affect everything? Everything. It affects everything. Amen. You don't think so? I'll use an example here. You think he wants you to wear a bikini up in heaven? Oh, I thought you were going to change them now. So, so I, I have a person say, God does not care about what you do on the outside. Well, All right, how about, how about these ladies that uh, like to wear those things that uh, they can wear on up to heaven then? You think God would be pleased with it, that in heaven? No. But when would he be pleased with it here on the earth? No. He's not pleased with it here. He wouldn't be there. God don't care if I every now and then just cut loose and tear and tear something loose and I just spit out so and so and so, so many words and that's it. And, and he don't care if I talked about him Monday 
I had him for dinner uh, Tuesday and supper. I took care of Brother Stewart. Amen. I ate, bo I ate uh, fried saints for breakfast, boiled saints for dinner, and stewed saints for supper. He doesn't care. Oh, he doesn't care? No, no, no. He does care. He does care. He does care what I do. is my tailor now. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Brother, I think that's uh, it. I think that's Can we read one more? Read, read one more. <laughs> About the 144,000. Yeah. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Hold it. These are they. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, well, thank God I don't run around with women anymore. The scriptures have more meaning than that. Of course, you're not supposed to run around with women if you're a male. No, of course not. Not here. You're not to do that. You're not to be defiled with women. That the flesh acts. The flesh acts. Sin. Man or woman. Men with women. Women with men. Certainly men with men, and certainly women with women. That's, that's the abomination. That's the abomination. No, of course you're not to do that. But there's another woman in the Bible called Mystery Babylon. Called a harlot. You know why she's called a harlot? Because her husband is not Jesus Christ. Because she has many lovers, called religious lovers. But her husband is not Christ. She's not Christ. She doesn't belong to Christ. She's the church that's defiling herself. Defiling herself. Because she is defiled. Because that mother of harlots, religious organizations, without Christ being their head, of their husband, oh, then I'm not to be defiled with that. No, no. I'm not to be a part of that. No, right. I'm not to take a card and say I belong. Right. I'm not to take the mark in my hand of fellowship. I'm not to take the number of the name. Right. I'm not to have the mind written with the name in it. No. I'm not to take that mark. On, take That's a mark. Yes. That's a mark. Thank God. Yes. I'm not defiled Thank with that. You. I got a revelation. Praise God. Go ahead. For they are virgins. They're virgins. That means they do not know man. Exactly. These are they which follow the Lamb. They follow the Lamb. Whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. First fruit. First fruit. Wait a minute. Did you say they follow the Lamb on Sunday, but Monday they follow somebody else? That's not what it said. That's not what it said. They follow the Lamb on Sunday, but uh, uh, Monday they follow their mind, their flesh, their spirit. That's not what it said. They follow the Lamb with wherever he goes. Wherever he goes, there you are. Wherever he goes, there you are. I, I just acquired a new dog, uh, Teddy. And that Teddy... He follows me wherever I go. I'm in the kitchen making coffee, turn around, he's down there looking like he wants a cup of coffee. <laughs> I think he's drinking if I give it to him. I go over to the counter to make me a smoothie, and he's over there, he looks like he wants a smoothie. I go in the uh, living room, sit down to read the paper, he's right at my feet looking up at me. Takes his paw and puts it up. Hey, partner, where are we going next? Yeah. 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 He follows me wherever I go. Yeah. He follows us upstairs. We've got to put a gate now on our stairway to keep him from loping upstairs. <laughs> you can't get rid of him. He loves us so. Yeah. I'm glad he does. I love the fellow, too. Yeah. I want to follow the Lamb whithersoever he goes. I want to follow the Lamb whithersoever he goes. 
praise the name of the Lord. Thank you. Follow the Lamb. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 That's room. Praise God. I gotta get this in right here. This in. This in. I'm not gonna go in for that. Verse 24, Daniel 2, 3. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake yeah. and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose. Right. That fourth man is loose here today. Walking in the midst of the fire. He'll be in the midst of your fire. Let him be in the midst of your fire. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The, the, uh, uh, you, you say, Brother Marlowe, how did they know back there, how did, how did that king know that that was the form of the, of the Son of God? Because God revealed it to him. Nebuchadnezzar wasn't a Christian. Nebuchadnezzar never saw God. Never, never, Nebuchadnezzar never saw his son. He got a direct revelation. I'm going to use this and bring this to the close of the set. Brother, when the world sees us finally in our fire, as we're going into now, we're going into the fire. There's a remnant going in the fire. The bride is going in the fire. The Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the church is going in the fire. You'll know it. You'll know it. The whole church is going to know it. Everyone here, you haven't seen fire like you're going to see fire. Persecution is just a step away from the church right now. Amen. Just a step away. Martyrdom is just a step away from the church. Did you see where the governor of one state, we've been, we've been saying, oh, those bad people of Islam over there cutting people's heads off. One of the governors of our states just decreed and he's going to try to get the legislature in his state yes. to bring back the guillotine. Yes. The no. schools are teaching And start cutting heads off. off. Yeah. You say, you know why God's doing that? He's showing the United States their hypocrisy. Right. Yes. And only the people of God will move away from the hypocrisy yes. that's in this country right now yes. and declare the word of God yes. and stand on the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Pastor, Amen. the schools took God out of the schools, but they're teaching our children about Islam. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Now they're teaching them about Islam, and they yes. took the Bible and God out of the school. And now That's the governor right. says, cut their heads off. That's right. See, I'm showing you the spirit of man is the spirit of man wherever it is. I said the spirit of man is the spirit of man wherever it is. There has to be a change. There has to be a change. Praise God. So tomorrow, you have a song of praise. Uh, we need to receive our offering. And I, I need to tell you all pretty much about the convention. It's right here on us. It's near us. Uh, the, the 11th of uh, February was right here. And this time next Sunday, we'll be looking at three days and service Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we'll be into the convention. We need to raise, we need to raise, uh, uh, I won't say what amount. I'm just going to trust God. If we don't, we don't. Um, last night's offering was $600. Uh, we, 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 need, we need people to turn loose and say, here is my offering for the convention. Here is my giving. Here is what I'm going to do. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not going to cry. Woe is us. We're going to have the convention. Food will be paid for. 
God will make the way, and ushers will serve, transportation will serve, waitresses will serve, servers will serve, and God will bless the church. Praise the name of the Lord. You give today, especially as God leads you to give, whatever God says. All right, if you said God said it, I'll settle for that. I'm a giver. I love people giving. I love the church giving. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to come right now, and uh, as we sing this song of praise, I want to tell you all, I'm so glad you're here, and I appreciate everyone that is here this day. Praise God. Whether this is the first time, or you were here many two years ago, or anyone that's been present today, I love you, and I hope this message was for you. It certainly was for me. Praise God. You're, you're welcome to come and get as God has given to you. Amen, amen, amen. With the high praise. 